we will look at AWR report generation. AWR is the automatic workload repository which collects information about activity in the database, the volume of uh, IO generated, the volume of transactions generated, logons, what SQLs were most intense, what segments were most active and so on. So it basically it's a lot of performance information. You can see that there were, I have been running some queries in the background here. Yeah. So let me log in as system. I don't need this DBA here. Let me manually create a snapshot of AWR. Okay, so I've created a snapshot and then I run the AWR RPT script which is in RDMS admin. It tell, ask me what format I want. For simplicity, let me create an, a text format. How many days back I want to look for? Uh, I cannot create a report for two snapshots where there has been a database instance shut down and stood up. Here there is between 2881 and 2882 there was a database instance shut down and stood up. So I cannot create a report spanning uh, 2881, 2882 because the it would be interrupted by the shutdown startup. But I can create a report for 2882 to 2883. That is these eight minutes here from 2258 to 2303. So let me further. I'll just show you what happens if I try to create a report for the, uh, where there was a shutdown startup. It gives me an error here, right? So I cannot create a report if there was a shutdown startup. Text format going back one day two eight. So now I create a report for two eighty two to two eighty three. The default name is al already specified, so I can use the default name, and it generates a report. So it has written a report. I can view that report here. It goes to the default directory. So it gives me a workload repository report. It tells me the snapshots of from 2258.33 to 2303.50. That is elapsed time of 5 minutes 28 seconds, 5.28 minutes actually. It shows me the buffer cache, the shared pool size. For, for that snap range of 5.28 minutes, redo size per second was 3000 bytes per second and 20, 20, approximately 21,000 bytes per transaction. So I've been doing some transactions here as well. I've been doing 290 logical reads per second and 2,000, almost 2,000 per transaction. There were a few logons at a rate of 0 0.1 per second. So here's it sh shows some efficiency percentage. Most of my activity has been in the uh, database buffer cache you can see the buffer hit ratio is very high I can see the 73.6% 73 of my activity has been on CPU some activity has been on user IO and so on there's a lot of detail in the AWR report let me just go to a particular sections of the AWR report it shows me uh, statistics on the CPU itself which it collects from the OS shows me in my uh, weight events here foreground weight events sequential read 1285 times average wait time of 1 millisecond messages to client because I was running a long query it was sending many rows to the client that is the SQL plus client here this section shows me weight events in term of a histogram here I, I can show see which are the SQLs which took up time the create snapshot itself I can see some queries which are run from SQL plus a query on sales table another query on sales table I can see how much of the time it was on of, of the elapsed time how much was on CPU and how much was on IO 
here's another query on sales table okay so these are all the queries there's a lot of internal queries which, uh, operations which Oracle runs to collect the snapshot to maintain the database itself so these are all part of snapshot collection so these reports are by elapsed time this is by elapsed time this is by CPU time this is by IO I await time and so on so there are many different sections to the report this report is by reads so you can see this query accounted for so many reads 1716 reads and then there are some advisors also the buffer pool advisory so my buffer pool is currently about 80 megabytes it shows me if I were to increase the buffer pool whether there would be any difference to the physical reads if I reduce the buffer pool yes physical reads would go up but about 80 megabytes is, a, is about okay for the level of activity that, that I've done in this database in this five point uh, five, 5 minutes or so similarly there's an advisory on the PGA the PGA is 152 megabytes and the cache hit ratio is 100 percent so it seems I may not I need, do not need to increase the PGA as, as well another advisory in the shared pool and the total SGA target itself so this is the, the SGA target is 284 MB and the database time is 14 seconds then there is a report on segments so the sales table has some uh, partitions so these were the ones that were being queried by the queries this is this first report is by logical reads the second report is by physical reads and so on so the AWR report itself contains a lot of information the most important part is you find out what was the elapsed duration what is the load profile what is the volume of activity look at redo size look at logical reads look at block changes physical reads and then look at the foreground events to identify how much time was spent on which event event so most of the time was on CPU but there was some time on IO here so the, the way you generate a AWR report is if you don't have a snapshot up front you create a snapshot but I would advise you not to do this manually uh, what you could do is you could use uh, workload repository dot modify snapshot settings a procedure to change the frequency of snapshots maybe to 30 minutes and then you don't have to manually create uh, snapshots yourself and then whenever you want to generate a report you just run AWR RPT So that's how you generate a report from the command line or you can do it from enterprise manager or if you're using SQL developer 4.1 you can also do it from SQL developer you just run this from the command line here or from enterprise manager or SQL developer and then the report gets generated so you can see the new report also got generated now